The number of Long Island senior citizens, I'll Dick, I'll let it. you take that. Yes, on waiting lists for home and community-based uh, assistance, according to the AARP, advocates tell CBS 2's Jennifer McLogan, some are languishing due to a lack of state funding, while others celebrate services they depend on. The happiest place in town. Yeah. A golden celebration for the memory books in Huntington. Very inspiring. They keep us, keep on keeping on. And now I do not walk with a cane anymore. I love the music. I'm involved with the harmonizers. For 50 years, this acclaimed senior center has been a lifeline for retirees to socialize and recharge. Most live at home, but spend hours here every day, including meals. Three dollars would, would never cover to cook it at home. With their joy comes trepidation. What happens in the future if in-home personal care assistance they rely on is scaled back? We're keeping a, a, uh, a very close watch on the state budget to make sure that there's no cuts to seniors. According to data from the AARP and New York Office of the Aging, there's a rising backlog statewide of non-Medicaid elder services considered critical to keep seniors in their own homes. I don't want to be a burden to anyone. And to have this year though it's fabulous my kids are so happy for me elder advocates point to the rapidly growing senior population inflation for meals and transportation and the declining state budget what are some of their biggest fears for family members not having the resources and support and services that they need to be able to keep their loved ones at home we're just perpetuating this system when there's an easy fix. The easy fix, says AARP, is in the state budget. Invest dollars now to delay or prevent people from entering into nursing homes. I would be very unhappy. I want to stay in my own home. With the aid of family and friends, many aging parents living alone are doing well. I get teary eyed. I'm making chicken cordon blue. He's going to bring it over to her tonight. He'll take out her garbage cans tonight. Family can help, but with a shortage of home health aids and wait lists for elder services, many seniors wonder how long they can remain in their own homes. From Huntington, Long Island, Jennifer McLogan, CBS 2 News. Governor Hochul says she'll continue to work with the legislature to craft a final budget that achieves, in her words, investments in New York's future and ensures fiscal stability.